Hi, I'm Mark Tuart, and welcome to my video series, Why Automotive Dealerships Struggle. In video number 38, we're going to talk about false beliefs about ad spending, ad budgets, etc. I alluded to this in an earlier video, but one of the things I've done at every 20 group I've ever spoke at, or when I have management programs of my own, I always ask the dealers and the managers, uh, what is your ad budget? and I'll get uh, the answers of how many dollars they're spending or what their average ad spend budget is, how much is digital, conventional, etc. And then I always ask them, how did you arrive at that? And almost never can I get a very good, cohesive, co cogent answer. I may get something like, uh, well, this is the 20 group norm, this is benchmark, this is so much per car, suggested by NADA averages, this is just the budget that fits in line with where we want to be for our net profit for the dealership. But that's assuming that those things would be true. And then I ask, well, why? Or how did you arrive at that? And why is that the right figure or number? I never, ever, ever get an answer to that. Here's the reality that's very hard for people to understand. And they really think I'm crazy when I say this. There is no such figure. A budget is a budget, but if you have a return on investment, you keep spending it. In other words, if I spent $50,000 and I get $50,001 back, I'm going to continue to do it. Now, you want a better return on investment for the money spent, but the reality is if you pick a genre, if you pick a, a, a media, and you dominate it, and you're getting an ROI, continue to do it and continue to explore how you can get more out of it. Then go dominate another one, and another one, and another one. One of the things that's very contrary is you should be willing, with the return on investment, to outspend your competitors. If you're going to go into a media, dominate it. And most people are very limited. I can't do that. I don't have the money. Once again, you're thinking that you're not going to get a return on investment, that you're not making money for that spend. So whatever it is, get a return on investment that's positive, and continue to grow it to outrageous to where you dominate and you shove everybody off the page. I have done this with dealerships in towns of 4,000 people that was selling 25 and 35 cars that went to 230 cars that made $4 million a year that was not making a nickel before. I've done this in towns where we've had $3 million changes, $2 million changes. And all we did was create a different mindset about what could be done. You have to be effective in your message to make it happen, but it can't happen. I'm Mark Tuart. Make sure you tune in to the rest of my video series. And also, if you would, go to my website to get your free email newsletter at tuart.com. Call us anytime at 888-2-TUART. And as always, here's to you and good selling.